Welcome to Brandon Socket. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. In this video, I want to cover one last area for the inner workings of an opportunity. And what's that area? Opportunity timeline. In the classic version, this was called What Do You Want to Do Next? Pop-up window or the to-do tab. So on every single opportunity screen or task screen, it's the same screen, pop quiz, you have this opportunity timeline. What it allows you to do is schedule a call, schedule an appointment, which are the two most important uh, activities you want to schedule for yourself. You can log interactions, outbound and inbound phone calls, store visits for demos, write-ups, and pending F&Is, or you can log another task. You won't necessarily log these other tasks. Those are the two main ones there. You can also connect via email and text message. So this opportunity timeline is a mainstay, a must-have, a must-use, probably one of the most important pieces in dealer socket. And here's why. As salespeople, we're trying to build relationships. We're trying to communicate with customers and we have to follow a game plan and create a game plan. And how better to do that than to speak to a customer and the notes has talked about a vehicle and maybe the customer called you back, called back into you. So they, you know, it was a sales call and they called you back. So I'm gonna log a call. I'm gonna go inbound. I took it wants to come in on Saturday okay hit save <clears throat> now the screen window pops up and you can use it as well so I'm gonna schedule an appointment for Saturday they said 915 uh, test drive appointment on the XR450 truck it's a new model coming out don't worry about it now I did talk about a calendar invite in a previous video, video, it's in the tips and tricks and enhancements section. There's a link up top of the video now if you want to go to it. But we're going to add that appointment. And then we're going to pretend that appointment shows up. And I want you to pay attention to this contacted section. Okay. When I click start this task, did Jaden make it in? Yes. What did we do? Okay. Now, what if I hit no? If I hit no, it says, oh, why didn't he make it in or she make it in? A no show or a canceled. Okay. And from the no show and the canceled, you know, from the canceled, you might hit save and create a new appointment because you rescheduled. If it was a no-show, you might save it and then uh, schedule a phone call about the no-show. In this case here, we'll go showed up. What did we do? We demoed and we went to paper, but we didn't sit with F&I. Awesome. And now we're going to go save. Perfect. Now your deal, your opportunity is in a write-up status. We know where that customer sits. And maybe they wanted to come back the week after, so you could schedule an apartment appointment, or let's log a phone call for the you know the Tuesday call to see how the rest of their weekend. <clears throat> all right, so now we've got an outbound phone call, and all we do with this opportunity line is we opportunity timeline is we just continue to update it as things happen. You know, I want to schedule a reminder. I'm gonna schedule and select the reminder of send email. All right, send vehicle orientation sheet, whatever that is at your dealership, right? Who knows what this is? Again, scheduling activities, creating a workflow. And again, in other videos, I talk, I talk about task management. You can go check that video out now, but those are gonna be, you know, in your check mark under your tasks. But Opportunity Timeline allows you to email, text message, log visits, log phone calls, and schedule future activities. Again, I can't stress how important this section is. Um, hopefully you find this video use, uh, useful, not useless. Hope you find this, hopefully you find this video useful. Uh, use this Opportunity Timeline. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment.